Lights, please. <laughs> now I get my wicked way with you three girls. <laughs> It is a Monday, it's day 308 of 365 and it's sunny, feels like it's going to be a good day. We've got a large format workshop at university today and I've got a large format camera so I'm going to take mine in with me. I bet they don't have cases like this at university. Leaves have all gone, winter's here, almost anyway. And the printer that Scott brought back for me yesterday, I've put up for sale now. So if you're interested in an Epson R2400, let me know. Morning Gemma, how are you? Do you know where my printing stuff is? I want to do some of that if I get time. Do you want that paper, don't you? Damn, oh yeah, I did. I ran out of paper, so I can't. Maybe Bev's got some. Beverly! Bev! Have I got any printing paper, or have you got any printing paper left over? Oh, what for You are so hot, by the way. <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Have we got any printing paper? Yes. Ah ha 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 ha, we've got some more paper, so if I get time, I'm going to do some more printing. Have you two got all your stuff? Are you ready to go? Come on, let's go then. I am in the car, but the bloody girls aren't in the window steamed up. Magical windscreen wipers. And here she is. It's a sunny day out today, isn't it, babe? Gorgeous. I don't think we're going to be late for university. We sort of made it on time. It is really, really bright out today, as you can see on my white out face. We've got a full week of university this week, and Monday next week we've got a hand in our presentations. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Please be space for parking. Look over there, there's Alan Bacon. <laughs> Alan's a YouTube subscriber. Hi, Alan. Hi, Lowie. <laughs> She's been trying her best not to get filmed for ages now. Just got her. <laughs> Ready for the start of a fun pack week? <laughs> I don't even know if I need to bring in my camera to this thing, but it seems appropriate since we're doing large format. Thank you, girls. It's a full day in the workshop. By the end of the day, we'll have massive prints of like portraits or something like that. That's what the other room said. Is anyone here, yeah? Hi, Amy, how are you? Hi. When's your party? 20th November. Do you want us to come? Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired, I've had to lie down on the floor. And looking up, I see a really nice picture. Look at that, all the pipes and lights and stuff. I think that's lovely. Don't you think it's lovely, Bev? Have a look. This is Ian. He's taking the think, workshop really? today. He's one of the university yeah. photography yeah, engineers. He's great, actually. Light well liked. <laughs> but I can't. I'm getting up. Out of 12, eight of us turned up. <laughs> and we can shift the lens up and down as well. These outer ones, sorry, these inner ones, rather, got rise and fall as well. We've got to go and load our films now into the dark slides, but Jeb is going to do it for me. I'm going to do my very best to make it through the whole of university without loading any film ever. Yeah, but Gemma's in there. Bye, Gemma. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to go and get a chocolate bar or something for lunch while she does that. What am I going to have? Red Bull? I haven't had this for a few weeks now. Hopefully she's got them done by now. We're testing the cameras out now, the rail cameras in the studio. Hi Sarah. Hello. You're a nice model. Thermometer, trying to keep this at a basic 20 degrees. If it's high or if it's low, sorry, if it's high or it's low in temperature, measure it and use that conversion chart down there to add or subtract some minutes or seconds. Right, where are we now? Me and Gemma have got to spend our lunch developing everyone else's film. I said I'd never do this, but I've been roped into it anyway. <laughs> and we're going into deep tank room two. We've got to spend our time in here. We're using this big cage thing. We've got to put all the film that's in there, in there, and do loads of wishy-washy stuff in these tanks. What are you going to do? Are you going to get some food? No, I'm going to wait with you guys. In here? Yeah. Amy and Beverly are staying in here with us to watch over us in the dark. I can't believe I'm going to mess up. I know I'm going to mess up. All this stuff in the absolute dark. Can you turn the lights off, please, Aim? Do the duty. Lights, please. <laughs> now I kept my wicked way with you three girls. I am. It's not doing anything. What are you doing, Amy? Turn the light on. Turn Hit the it. Light on. Really hard. Hit the light. All done, it took about 20 minutes. We've got everyone's pictures on there and they look good. I can see Jordan there, I can see Michaela there. 
Okay, loads of portraits. Come on then. Bloody all over the university today, aren't we? We're just going to have some lunch, then go back to the lesson. You girls have fun in the dark with me. Yeah, I know you did. Especially you, you newly married little minx. I know, I'm already and dirty. <laughs> all to eat in, please, and a banana. With salad. I'm having a charred grilled vegetable sandwich and because we spent all our time in the lunch doing the developing the films, the classes start again but we have to go half an hour late and then carry on. It's kind of pointless for us because we've done it already but it's good experience isn't it? Yeah. Ian, our tutor, he's a really really nice guy actually. He's one of my favourite tutors. I'm quite surprised because I was a bit scared of him when I first met him. That we can use my camera in the afternoon session to practice with so that's what we're going to do. Probably go outside or something. I don't know yet. I'm about to have my first can of Red Bull for three or four weeks. Here we go. Ha! <coughs> well, that was the most boring meal I've ever had here. Legs are feeling a little bit wobbly. Down to the deepest, darkest level. Triple six fix, I'm hidden like a devil. And straight back up again with our camera equipment and we're going to take photos outside, all four of us. The rest of them are in the studio taking portraits and that. We're heading over to the fashion building because it's great sunlight at the moment and they've got big colourful windows there so that should be nice on the inside. Don't go into the light, Sam! I've been in there a few times before when we used to hang around with Chris and Carla because Carla does fashion. So yeah, have a look at the windows up there, they look gorgeous when the sunlight's passing through them anyway. Underlay, underlay, underlay! <laughs> Yes, Bev, sexy. We've got 40 minutes to take four photos on a large format camera. That's not enough time, so we're gonna to have to rush it. Amy's come outside to take her photo. Chop, chop, young Miss Parker. We've only got about 20 minutes left. Hi. And this one's my shot. This is what I'm gonna take a photo of now. Then we're gonna head back to the studio, okay? Oh, don't die. The lead yeah. is front. Hey? The lead's in front. Ready? Done. And we are all done. <laughs> G'day, Bev's name's Peter Lick, who looks like a bit of a prick. I've got an overextended tripod that I call Boris. If you want to know who Peter Lick is, do a search on YouTube for him. What a twat. Just we finny. Where's Ian? These are the silly daft black and white portraits we took this morning. They've just been developed. Back and forth again. Today's made no sense, I'm sure. You're probably going, what are you doing at university, Sam? Shakshi. Pack up time. All finished and the colour prints we took outside have been developed. They look really good, not going to bother showing you. Uh, back home now. It's nice to get out of uni before the sun goes down. Ian's a quality workshop tutor. He looked like he really enjoyed it today. I could have him all day long. And in fact, we did have him all day long, didn't we? He obviously loves it. It's brilliant. Yeah. So like I said this morning, we didn't learn anything today, anything new anyway, but we had a lot of fun doing it. Actually, some black room dot. Some black and white dark room developing, that's what we learned. Me and Gemma had to do it. God, that half an hour in there is dark and horrible. We must have quite a lot of damp in this car still. Look at the windscreen. With all this bloody traffic in Killeen, it's going to be dark by the time we get home anyway. It's 25 past four at the moment and we're in Killeen. And now it's 25 to five, it's still light and we're back home already. Someone get the dinner on. I fancy starting season six of House, which I haven't seen yet, but everyone else has. Someone turn the lights on. Feels like we're bloody developing film again. Turn the lights on. Smile for me, Beverly. <laughs> Chuck it on, House. Ray, season six. Everyone shut up, please, including me. Oh, the first episode of season five. Was it six, f six. season six? It was really good in the house. It was a nice ease you in gently. I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the season. I can't get my words out properly, can you tell? Look at you two old little ladies. I know what will wake them up. Shall we go and get some McDonald's? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like kids. Are you both ready for unnecessary fat and animals that have been slaughtered for no reason and a big golden arch gem? Golden arches. Pinky and the brain, 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 brain. I always feel guilty for going to McDonald's. What the hell is going on? McDonald's is a building site, open as usual. <laughs> I recognise that. I think I might go back with some Tipex and draw a white tash on it. Shush, shush, everyone be quiet. We're entering the kingdom of the fat people. I remember being a child, I remember McDonald's as a happy place to go. Do you? And now the place is just riddled with fat and guilt. What are you getting? Wedge burger. And we get some wedges as well. Oh, we don't do wedges anymore. <gasps> we do onion rings, don't we? But not wedges? No. 
got no fucking wedgies. You heard the girl, she's not happy, no wedges, so we've had to resort to onion rings. Fucking onion rings! I'm being watched. Hello, Mr. Camera. The camera is resting on my nose at the moment, so this is exactly what I see. Hello, babe. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh, can't just about see it. Thank you. Bev's doing it now. <laughs> Let's go eat and feel guilty. Bev, what were you doing in there? I thought we'd lost you. I got trapped by a horde of rampaging children. High on fats and E numbers, no doubt. There is clearly on YouTube no bigger hypocrite than me. But there's one difference between all the other hypocrites, I admit it. And no, I'm not going to make excuses about eating McDonald's, saying it's for the girls or something. I do it because I like it and I haven't done it for a few months. But that still makes it absolutely bleeding disgusting, including you, Beverly. Are we be home? It's true, Dr. Film, open the door, Gemma dreamt it. Do we have plates for McDonald's? No, I don't think so. I'm sure someone could write some sort of paper on that. It's more fun to eat McDonald's off the table than off a plate. Does that make sense? Ha ha. Ha. What other foods do you buy to bring home do you not have on a plate? Fish and chips? No, you have that on a plate. Chinese, curry, everything like that, you have that on a plate. McDonald's, you don't have on a plate. What is that all about? Uh, all finished. Who wants the last onion ring? Doesn't it look angelic amongst all this crap? Then I shall take it. Something about those little pills that chills and kills a million brain cells. You know the other day when I was looking through old love letters and asking you guys if you had love letters for Gemma for her project, did anyone send any love letters to her? Because a few of you said you had some. Slight side note though, in my box of filth I found all these old passport photos of old girlfriends. How weird is that? <laughs> You don't mind me showing people, do you? I'm wild with jealousy. <laughs> Show them the ones of you. Yeah, I will do. Okay, Bev's got them up on her iPad here. They're ones of me, old passport photos. Look nothing like me, do they? Bloody hell. No older than 17 in any of them. It's quite scary. A few people said I looked a little bit like Lloyd, but I like to think I'm Brad Pitt in that one. <laughs> Girls, can we watch some more House, please? Episode two, or is it episode three? I'm not sure. Can we watch some? Can you put it on? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna finish up the video there as well. It's day 308 or 365, I've got a bigger penis than you most likely, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye!